Well, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office will not file criminal charges against a Lawrence woman arrested for breaking the state's new so-called 25-foot law. As CBS 4's Hannah Adamson shows us, several lawmakers say they're concerned the law infringes on Hoosiers' constitutional rights. This is overkill. State Senator Rodney Pohl says House Bill 1186 requires a person stay 25 feet away from a police investigation if asked to do so by law enforcement. He says several other states have struck down similar laws and anticipates Indiana will follow suit. There's going to be some very good arguments, um, you know, as it pertains to whether or not this will pass constitutional muster. And, and I think we'll find that out here shortly. State Senator Lonnie M. Randolph says 25 feet is too far a distance for a phone camera to record incidents effectively, potentially impacting Hoosier's First Amendment rights. It's just a pretense to prevent people from exercising their rights that they have to videotape the conduct of a police officer. This as the Marion County Prosecutor's Office has dropped the unlawful encroachment charge against Mary Nichols of Lawrence. A statement from the office reads in part, quote, the probable cause affidavit submitted does not allege that Ms. Nichols interfered with a police investigation. The ACLU of Indiana's legal director says although Ms. Nichols' arrest will not play into its challenge of the law, a hearing is set for next week in federal court in the case of another individual he says was impacted by the law. We have uh, one person who submitted a declaration in our case in South Bend who was actually behind police tape and was told by two officers that was fine, but a third officer said, no, you have to move back. Reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Adamson, CBS4 News. And this comes as several media organizations, including our parent company, Nextar Media Group, filed a lawsuit today against Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita. That lawsuit states the 25-foot rule infringes on their First and 14th Amendment rights. The Office of the Attorney General says that it plans to vigorously defend this law.